Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, and boy oh boy have I got a good pack for you today. This time we've been focusing on sci-fi stylized materials, so similar to what you'd find in something like Overwatch for example. And what we've actually done is we've created two lots of materials. One which you can use in Blender, which does come with all of the edgeware and things like that. And the other one which can be used in Substance Painter. So the Substance Painter part, I'll show you exactly how to use those a little bit later on in the video. But for now, we're going to focus on the Blender part. So here you can see all of the materials looking extremely, extremely nice. As you can see, we've got edgeware on there. We've got dirt in there. We've even uh, put in a emission in there as well. And we've gave you a few colors to pick from. You can also see if you look closely, we've also got that really, really nice actual grading on there from going from dark to light as it goes further up, whatever it is you're actually painting. So let's just pick one of these and then what we'll do is we'll hop right in and show you exactly how to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this turquoise one here. And what I'll do is just press Shift H, hide everything else out of the way and go over to my shading panel. Let's just then find it again and here it is. And what I'll do is I'll put it on rendered view so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now what I've actually done is I've laid this out also really, really nice for you. So you can see if I come over to the material, you can see everything's laid, uh, laid out really, really nice. Now the first thing I'll show you then is the gradient and you'll see that everything's controlled, everything's set up. So if I bring this down, you can see that gradient moving up and down. You can see we can actually control how actual thick that actual gradient is. So really, really easy to control the gradient, as you can see. And if you don't want the gradient on at all, just turn it off by putting the black down all the way to the bottom. Moving on then, let's move over to the edgeware. So here you can see is the edgeware. So we've got edgeware opacity and if we turn this down to let's say to zero you will see it completely gets rid of all that edgeware now and the further we bring you up so if i just press ctrl z just to bring it back whoops there we go something like that let's bring it up even more you can see you can add edgeware really really easily into your actual metal now let's move on a little bit more and what we'll come to is the edgeware depth so you can actually control how much depth this edgeware has as well. I've even put that in there for you. So you can turn it right down or bring it right up like so. Completely up to you how much you have. I'm going to turn it down though just a little bit just so we can actually come and see. Uh, let's put it on something like four. Uh, maybe higher, something like eight. Um, so you can actually see as well the occlusion. So we've also got occlusion which replicates the actual dirt in these creases here as you can see. I can turn it completely off as you can see. Or I can bring it all the way up and add in lots and lots of dirt around the edges and things like that. Finally then if we come on over to the emission. I've also made that really really easy for you to use. So you can see here is the emission and you will notice it's actually got a little bit of noise on there. So what I've done is I've added a gradient on there and I've added some noise on there and you'll see if I turn this to the red or something like that you can see now it's got a slight gradient on it. If I bring down the emission strength just to one or something you should be able to see if I bring this down or bring it up now you can see that there's the actual mission on there with the actual gradient. So really, really nice material, really, really easy to use and completely all can be done in Blender. Just get your sci-fi crate or your sci-fi object and then just throw this on there and then you should be able to add all of these details straight away. And just before finishing, something I actually forgot about is the actual Blender materials. They are all seamless textures, which means that you can take them in to any of your Blender projects or anything like that and use these materials. They don't have to actually be UV unmapped or anything like that. All right, so now let's move on to the Substance Paint part. So here we are in Substance Paint, and before I go any further with this, the file you will get is the blend file, the complete blend file, all everything in there that you'll need and you'll also receive one of these files which is the complete material pack for substance painter so you should just be able to grab all these and then just drag and drop them into your own shelf within substance painter all right so now let's show you how this works then what i'm going to do first i'll come in um, to any of these and what i'll do is i'll just remove the actual material on there and then from there we can actually create something so all i'm going to do is just pick the yellow one on here you can see all nicely set out this is the yellow one here as you can see and all i'm going to do is just come in and delete it out of the way 
like so. And then all you do is you come in, grab your actual material, drag and drop it on, wait for it to load up, and there you go. Now, the thing is, this at the moment, so the emission layer is all it is is a mask. So if I come in and clear my mask, so clear mask, you can see it gets rid of it. To actually paint then that actual emission on, all you need to do is come over to the left hand side and you can simply now come in and just grab a load of these like so and paint them on wherever you're going to need that little bit of emission or light like so. All right, so let's now talk about the controls actually within here then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to come down and you, I'm going to discuss the first one, which is the gradient color. Um, if we come in and actually bring this down, you can see this is the gradient color and this is how we control the gradient. So if I come now, you'll see that we've got a slight gradient from there to there. All I need to do now is just come down and I can change the balance of it, as you can see. So I can drop it down where I want to. I can change it on the fly how strong I want it to be, like so. So really, really easy to use that. Next of all, then, we've got the edge wear. If I come to my edge wear now, I'm going to go to my curvature, which is this one here. And then all I can do is I can turn up this balance and increase that actual edge wear, like so. And I can decrease or increase the actual contrast of it. What you can also do is, as well, is you can change it more to white. So, for instance, if you come over to color, just drop this more to a white color. I've obviously set this up so it's really nice here when you're using yellow. So it's really set up nicely. And what you can also do as well is you can come to your warp. And if I scroll down, then I can turn down the intensity and make it more broken or less broken and completely up to you. All right. So finally, then let's come to our dust. So you can see here we've got one that says dust. I can come in exactly the same thing. And what I can do with this is I can increase the dirt like so. You can see that dirt increasing. I can get rid of the contrast if I want to or bring the contrast up. And now you can see that dirt is really, really getting into all of those parts where we actually want dirt. So a couple of things before finishing here. First of all, if you are going to be using the gradient, just make sure that you keep it on the same object. In other words, everything is UV unwrapped onto one UV tile and then just make sure you um, adjust this gradient. Second of all then, what we've not spoke about yet is the metal decals. So we can actually put decals in here. All of this has been set up for you, so it's really, really easy to use again. All we need to do is simply click on one of these, click on where it says paint here. You can see bump down decal, bump up. So if I come and click on here, for instance, you can see now I can actually drop this in there. Now, if I want to actually put another one in, so let's say I want to put this one in, drop it in there, and there you go. It's as simple as that. Again, with the paint here, we can do the exactly the same thing. Instead, this time going the other way. So you can see that it's going up and it's going down, and it's really, really easy to use, especially when you want to get all of those details into your sci-fi barrels or crates and all that other stuff. So again, another one which is really, really easy to use. You can use this pack in Substance Painter or in Blender completely up to you and you can see just how quick it is for any of your sci-fi things to actually get on a stylized material quickly and easily all right everyone so if you like this sort of thing then give us a like and subscribe and if you want to pick up this pack for free along with all of our geometry nodes all of our courses and everything else then think about joining one of the best patrons in the whole of the community all right everyone so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot Bye-bye.